Hello boys and welcome back. Now today I am going to be talking about the new Plants vs Zombies 3. Now I am aware that this game is not officially out yet and I also have not played it yet but uh, from what I, the gameplay I've seen so far I'm not a fan of it. Uh, so far I have watched through some of Zack Scott gameplay and I've formed some opinions about it. First off, let's go over the art style. Now, I'm not gonna bash whoever created these models. I'm sure that a lot of time and effort went into them, but I kind of wish they went and kept the 2D art style. The 3D just kind of feels out of place, and it feels like some plants have a bit of contrasting art styles, although I know that's a problem from the second game as well, but let's talk about that more. Now, an example of why these 3D models are not so good is definitely the sweet potato. Uh, it seems as if they were trying to go through for like a, a cute look with it, but it just looks bad. The, the eyes are way too big, and it just kind of makes it look ugly. I'm sorry, it just is. Another thing is I just don't like the fact that it's in portrait mode. It just baffles me why they would do this. Like, I guess they're trying to make it so you could just pick it up with more convenience. But, like, it's not that hard to flip your phone around. And also the way that it's handled will... This will be brought up later in the video. Now, let me go over the gameplay itself. Now, the most jarring thing you will see about this game is, when you first play is you no longer plant sunflowers. Yeah, no more planning your economy. You just have to, you just fill, the bar just fills every five seconds or so. Personally, I don't like this. It's just way too easy. There's no more strategizing. Like, let's say you want to only make one row so you can have your defense out faster but you won't be able to make a bigger defense later. Or you could have two rows and you can put potato mines to stall so you could have a bigger defense later. I know that that's like a bit of a stretch, but it's it's different gameplay styles and that's just how it is. And also, the th one major thing I hate about this especially is it, it just removes any possibilities for night levels, which are probably some of my most favorite levels from the original game. It also removes any possibility, such as for, for like the popular sunflower challenge that I no sunflower challenge that I've seen going around on YouTube recently. Well, not recently, but around last year. Personally, I just don't think that this was a good addition, and it was just added because they wanted to make this easy mobile game. Ha <laughs> ha! As a result of no more sunflowers, that means you have the ability to put out offensive plants right away. This also means that they are allowed to send zombies immediately as the game starts, with uh, the average being a normal zombie and an imp coming your way at the beginning. Now, you would think that this would add some challenges with the horde starting off instantly, right? Uh, simple answer, no. Uh, you see, although it may start out hard, it gets easier considering this game just outright refuses to make zombies the zombie hordes bigger than like seven zombies another thing hindering this is like at a certain point you could just use a certain strategies with your plants and uh, you, you would just go through tons of zombies and it's well you can basically just go through all the levels later later levels with that strategy and you basically have won the game <laughs> Now, I'm aware that this was kind of a thing in the first and second game, but at least they kept on throwing new th zombies at you. I, yes, they do it in this game, but it, it just gets to a point where none of them really matter, and you can just keep on using the same ones. I, I'm not a fan of that either. So now, let's talk worlds. So the main game takes inside of this zombie tower where most of the battles take place. Uh, now, the problem I have with this is that there is nothing original about the lawn. There are no new hazards like graves, uh, chilling winds, minecarts, water, planks, and more 
from the sequel and stuff. It's basically just the same basic lawn every time. And there are certain parts of the game where you do fight in the town areas, but it's just a recolored lawn with no hazards in sight. Although, objectively, in my opinion, PvZ2 is not as good as the original Plants vs. Zombies. The place where it shines brightest is definitely the different themes in different worlds. Each world just looks different with more new hazards to face. There's, here in this one, it's just the same basic lawn with the same basic zombies. Nothing new. Now, let's get into my biggest problem with this game. Now, the thing that keeps me coming back to the original Plants vs. Zombies is definitely the different modes. Of course, you still have the original adventure mode, but personally, I loved all the wacky things that came up with the original minigames. I loved the strategy of the puzzle modes and the fact that you played as a zombie is an eye zombie. It was original. It wasn't exactly creative, but it was still really cool. Uh, I love, and my f most favorite part about it was definitely the survival mode. When I look at PvZ3, I see none of that. I don't see minigames. I don't see survival. Heck, I don't even see conveyor belt levels. This game is just the same levels over and over again with almost nothing new. The one mode in this game is the battle mode, which is just the basic levels again, but you gotta get more points th than the other person. It's just incredibly boring. <laughs> now, let's think, why would EA do this? Well, it's actually pretty obvious. This game is a cash grab. If you don't believe me, the main adventure mode to play the levels, you have to spend the keys, which you only have a certain amount at a certain time. Want to keep playing? Well, too bad. You either have to get more keys, well, you have to buy more keys with real life money, I assume, or simply wait. And that's another big issue with this game comes in. The original Plants vs. Zombies was meant for you to play a couple hours at a time, beat a couple worlds, you know, at your own pace. Uh, PvZ3 was simply made for you to get hooked and want to play more and so you can buy your buy keys and play more. And that explains why the levels are super short and super easy. They want you to blast through the game so you get to the point where you wasted all your keys. Now the average player, the simple purpose of this game is just for EA to get some simple money. The average player will probably play it for about 10 minutes while they're waiting for something, a doctor's office on the bus, whatever, but they're not playing the game for the simple fact that it's actually fun, like the original. This game has no soul. This game is just the average mobile game on the App Store these days, wanting your money and nothing more. Now, once this game does officially release, I will play it and I will make another video, and if these problems have been fixed or not. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Have fun, I guess. Also, the main reason that this game is objectively bad is that there's no one in my room.